hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking to you about shooting a golden hour fashion photo shoot in a luxury villa so just before we get into this video i wanted to mention that all the photos in today's video were edited using my presets i just applied them i actually used the studio preset pack for this occasion and I just adjusted it afterwards a tiny bit, so I just adjusted the brightness and a tiny bit of the temperature and so on. Uh, but all of them were edited using that pack. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have known that I am in Bali right now. I'm going to be here for another while creating some awesome content for you guys. One of my first stories that I got to shoot here in Bali was this awesome fashion story that we got to shoot at a beautiful villa that the model's friend uh, was taking care of and we got to shoot it during the golden hour. I thought that it would be best to use that time of the day just to kind of make sure that the light wasn't too harsh and too contrasty. I have to say I'm really happy that we stuck to the afternoon light because it was really beautiful and soft. I decided to not shoot with the direct sunlight because there wasn't really that much sun left but it wasn't the main reason i just didn't want the contrast to be too much i felt like the story would look much better in a softer kind of shadowy look and uh, because of all the greenery we had this kind of nice moody feeling that i shot in before and i thought that worked really really well um so in the majority of the shots uh, we are actually going backlit and we are not actually getting direct sunlight and because it just looks nicer so because the light was kind of blocked by the top of the villa, it wasn't really going through the full way. So for example, it wasn't reaching the stairs at all. Uh, it was still bright, but it wasn't very contrasty. So I could get some really, really nice moody shots without getting that really harsh contrast that you don't really necessarily want in all of your shots. So um, I find that it picked up the highlights really, really nicely. So for those shots, the model had no body oil on, there was nothing on, and she still got really, really beautiful highlights kind of popping up, which I really, really loved. For our second look, our model had this beautiful loose dress. Um, it had like a slip on and then the looser kind of top that was very flowy and I thought it would look really beautiful if there was light falling through it. So I got her to stand in some of those light patches where the light was still coming through and I took some photos there. Um, you know, you can see her kind of silhouette underneath the dress, which I think is really, really lovely. I just really like playing with shapes and so on. We got um, some beautiful movement from the dress, which I really loved, and we had this beautiful light coming through by her head, which I think is really, really complimentary. And I really love playing with afternoon light, and I really love playing with that kind of um, setup where you have light coming through and you have the lens flare and the softness, and it's just really, really dreamy, and it creates such a beautiful setup. Once the light got a bit lower, we got this lovely moody setup. It got a tiny bit darker, so I had to mo uh, boost up my ISO ever so slightly, but it wasn't anything extreme. It was just a tiny bit. And I still got those lovely highlights and very soft skin tones and just really beautiful contrast. There was something about it where you just had this perfect contrast. Um, some of the sky is a bit overexposed because there was so much sun in the background, but to be honest, I don't mind. I think it adds to the mood. I just feel like it kind of lifts up the, the brightness of the image a tiny bit so i think it works quite well for the last look we wanted to go with a bit of swimwear but we did want to add something to kind of bind it together with the rest of the story so we added this kimono that i had that i brought with me from ireland and we shot it this way at the edge of the pool i thought it looked really really nice um i just added a bit of something so it wasn't just swimwear and um, because i feel like it wouldn't make sense as a part of the story because it was more like a resort kind of story rather than just sticking around the piece of swimmer so that's another thing um, as an advice if you are styling stuff yourself as we were i'm um, just try and keep a team consistent try and pick up stuff that makes sense together you know even if you bind something with something simple like jewelry or belts or just something that ties the story together and this way you can get a nice consistent story out of it okay guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time